Do you want to learn the best method to create series of images with consistent style? Finally, Midjourney has the ultimate solution to consistent style problem. In this video, you will find a detailed look at the consistent style prompt structure, understanding the difference between image prompts and style reference, setting strength of the overall style weight, transferring styles from famous films and real photos to your images and combining consistent style with stylized parameter. Style Reference is Midjourney's new tool for transferring styles between images. It enables you to select one or more reference images as the art direction for more images. These images define the visual aesthetic style that you want Midjourney to consistently apply across your generated images. Visual aesthetic includes specifics of referenced art medium, art style and overall mood. By applying a consistent style to a series of images, we can tell stories more efficiently. In order to use this feature, first I will upload my reference image to the Discord using plus button here. I will choose upload a file and find the image on my computer. Next step is writing the prompt for my new image generation. You can use atomic prompting for writing your prompt efficiently. For example, I can use link of the image on the left as a style reference and generate something else that visually matches its aesthetics. Then to transfer the style of my uploaded image to the new one, I will type dash dash href parameter followed by URL for my original style reference image. Let's head over to Discord and upload our image. Remember, we only aim to transfer the visual style aesthetics from the first image to the new image. I wrote my new prompt for a young woman with dreadlocks in hippie outfits, and now I'm adding my style reference parameter, dash dash sref, and simply drag and dropping my reference image to prompt input field. You can also right click to your reference image and click on copy image address and paste it to your prompt input box. The image has been added to my prompt as a long URL. Don't worry, it will get shorter. Ensure you have a space between SREF parameter and URL. I'm hitting generate. Here is the result with and without a reference image for the exact same prompt. We can clearly see that new image carries cinematic photorealistic remarks of the original image. If I want to go further, I can apply the same style reference to more images. This way, they will all exhibit similar styles to the reference photo. This technique can be incredibly useful for crafting a story with consistent tones. Okay, what if we want to try an illustrative style instead of photorealism? Let's create a new artwork based on this style reference. And remember, you don't need to fill every element in our prompt structure. That's just a guideline to help us build an artwork. I am writing a new short prompt with attached sref parameter and image URL. This prompt gives me the image on the right. And here is the comparison, the same prompt with and without a style reference. By the way, if you want to use style reference in the new Midjourney website, all you have to do is uploading your reference image to Midjourney website and after typing your style reference parameter, just drag and drop your uploaded image to prompt box. This month, more people will get access to the new Midjourney website where image generation is available. If you prefer to use multiple images as style references, Midjourney supports this feature. Simply, instead of adding one image link, add one or more links following dash dash sref parameter. Let's give an example. I wrote this new prompt including two style reference images, with the first one being more retro, ancient Egyptian, and second one is more artsy and chaotic. Consequently, I ended up with these peculiar looking images featuring some disproportional grapes. To improve these weird looking images, we will apply relative style weights. When you apply two style reference to an image, each style weight can be adjusted independently from the other, similar to what you can do with multi-prompting. 
This gives us maximum control over the style that influences our final image. On the left image, styling of source image 1 has more influence. On the right image, styling of source image 2 has more influence on the final outcome. However, I got the better results when I adjust my prompt little bit. I was looking for a retro film style fashion photo shoot with a model in ancient Egyptian outfit in the middle of a bizarre looking organic vineyard. I think I've got very close. When you apply a style reference, I strongly recommend adjusting your text prompt to align with your desired style reference direction. But the coolest things is using this consistent style feature and relative weights we learned. You can create mood boards with consistent style. For example, here I created a mood board for a fictional organic wine brand, using style reference for fusion of colorful organic textures meeting ancient Egypt. We've looked at multiple style references and relative style weights. Now, let's talk about the overall style weight. You can adjust the strength of the overall style reference applied to final image using dash dash style weight represented by SW parameter. Let's try this with an illustrative prompt. I created original reference image with this prompt using illustrative atomic prompting. Now I'm going to use this image as style reference for another prompt. And let's see what happens if we control style weight too. Simply I'm adding dash dash sw for style weight to the end of my prompt. Here you can see a visual comparison of different style weight values. Based on this visual comparison, we can conclude that the value 0 defaults to photorealism, effectively turning off the Simon Bisley style drawing. Low style weight values like 50 and 100 allows mid-journey to balance the influence of style reference with the text prompt, providing a nice blend. I was happy to see the katana I mentioned in my text prompt on the final image. High style weight values of 250, 500 and 1000 are great. If you want a clear and dominant influence of the style reference in the generated images. This includes much less focus on your text prompt and simply removing katana from her hand and replacing it with a rifle as depicted in the original reference image. Next, let's compare image prompts with style reference. Before the introduction of style reference, the style could be duplicated using only image prompting. However, it did not completely solve our problem. Style reference is different from image reference. Style reference functions similarly, but somewhat in between image prompting and style tuner. Let's oversimplify it. Image prompting with maximum image weight produces images that closely resemble the reference image, particularly the color, action of the main subject, text placement, style and other details. For example, I'm going to use this image as image prompt. In the image prompting, with the addition of image weight up to 3, the generated images will closely resemble the reference image, including the details like colors and even text. Now let's use same reference image with style reference. As you can realize, Style reference can capture and recreate a reference image's aesthetic style and vibe. Here we got some retro postcard vibes. Some colors are matched, but we can also observe some other colors in the grid and different actions like laying down or closed eyes. It's not as strict as image prompting in terms of color or action loyalty. Style reference is more adaptable than image prompt for style capture. Users can change the prompt, the main subject and the actions while maintaining the overall aesthetic. When working with image prompting, make sure that the reference image you choose closely resembles the new generation you envision. For style reference, you don't need to give a similar image as reference. It focuses on the style, meaning the lighting, the mood and the overall tones of the image matter more than details. How can we simplify our workflow and minimize time to decide which tool to use? Style reference tool is needed with the goal of replicating the aesthetic style of a reference image. 
If the goal is to generate an image with a similar aesthetic style to the original, but without the subject's details, use style reference. If the goal is to create an image closely resembling the original, then use image prompting. It works more like an image to image conversion. And style tuner is typically used to explore the aesthetic options for a given text prompt and fine tune and synthesize a unique visual aesthetic style. With all these changes coming to the platform, things are getting complicated for everyone. I think eventually mid-journey team will need to simplify things. In the last office hours, they mentioned that they're working on a new feature where users can choose exactly what they want to copy from an image and keep it consistent throughout new generations. I believe this flexibility and multidimensionality will provide tremendous opportunities for storytellers in the upcoming weeks. Hey people, I've noticed some of you are watching my content without hitting that subscribe button. Don't be shy, join the jungle. We've got some exciting deep dive mid-journey tutorials coming soon. The ability to transfer style and visual aesthetics from a single image creates fascinating possibilities. For example, we can transfer styles from famous films and recreate the iconic color correction and moods of well-known directors in completely new contexts. In the first example, I wanted to rethink Bonnie and Clyde in the Breaking Bad inspired yellow-green color palette. The second one is inspired by the Barbie movie universe, where everything is pink. Third image is from a film called The Revenant, and I really like cool icy color palette of this movie, and I tried to bring the Revenant color palette to the scene with Sailor. Next one is a Batman film directed by Wes Anderson. Then we have Tim Burton with his amazing style, which cartoonish colors mixed in with the gothic style. And lastly, we have an amazing sandy scene created with a style transfer from Blade Runner universe. As a next question, you may be thinking what's the relationship between a style reference and stylized parameter? How do different values of the stylized parameter affect images that have a style reference? Let's test this with both photorealistic and illustrative images. In this visual comparison, despite minor differences, I haven't noticed a considerable effect of the stylized parameter on the final images. To ensure that there is no significant impact, I decided to test the same parameter with an illustrative type of prompt that includes an illustrative type of image reference. After seeing this visual comparison, I realized few things. One, when using the stylized parameter in conjunction with the style reference, we observed the camera getting closer to the subject. This is a typical effect of the stylized parameter as it controls the application of default mid-journey aesthetics. Since the mid-journey training data tends to default more to portraits, the stylized value impacts this. Two, there is a subtle change in style almost as if a stylized value of 1000 brings the image closer to realism while preserving painting effect. 3. The lighting improved, which is particularly noticeable at the value of 1000. Both the light on the subject and the wall underwent slight changes. As conclusion, it's too early to definitively determine the impact of stylized on style referenced images. We need to conduct more trials as the results from the two prompts are inconclusive. However, I noticed a more significant impact on illustrative types of prompts. Another way to use style reference is using real photos. For example, while going through my photography archive, I found this photo I took in Vilnius, Lithuania years ago. Now, I will upload my photo as the image reference to Discord Copy link and use sref parameter to generate photos in my style from places which I never visited. Just a reminder, you can use style reference feature with Niji 6 as well. I particularly like the style weight 1000 as a value because it perfectly captured the retro postcard look I was seeking. We can of course change our direction to photorealism again. 
I've also added information from this video to my Mid-Journey V6 style guide as study notes for your reference, so you can easily copy-paste prompts and prompt structures. Don't forget to check out the link in the pinned comment down below. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you to explore consistent style on Mid-Journey. If you felt a spark of inspiration, show your support with a thumbs up and join our jungle community by subscribing. If you want to learn more about Mid-Journey and AI filmmaking, click here.